Hey everyone, Jen Kem here. I'm the founder of Master Brand Institute. Here we guide founders, experts, thought leaders, and entrepreneurs to build wildly profitable personal brands from the inside out through the power of team, identity, messaging, and experiences. Buckle up because this series is all about unfiltered reactions to the most juicy, exciting, and sometimes downright unbelievable stories in the business realm. I'm talking about workplace drama, entrepreneurial triumphs, and everything in between. We're gonna laugh together, maybe cringe a little, and definitely learn a thing or two. This is the space where we celebrate the wins, navigate the challenges, and explore the roller coaster that is the entrepreneurial journey. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For reference, I am a 28-year-old female and have been with my husband, who is a 30-year-old male, for eight years, married for two, we met in college, after which he worked in management, got an MBA, and now works in consulting. I've been working for the same company since graduation. Here's my current issue. My husband hates his job, but as long as I can remember, he's disliked every job he's had for one reason or another. He's well-liked and successful in every role he's had, but there's always something to complain about. Lately, he has been taking on side work for a friend helping with friends, companies, books, and consulting on business. This supplements his income, which is great. Recently, through this opportunity, he made contact with a startup company which offered him employment as a subcontractor. As a condition of the offer, he has taken and passed a financial certification exam and started his own LLC. They extended him contract employment last week. The job is guaranteed 10 hours per week with generous hourly pay for work he does beyond that as needed. However, his current job has a non-compete clause so he cannot accept the new gig unless he resigns his current role. He is so enthusiastic about the opportunity, but I'm nervous about the instability. His arguments, he hates his current job, the new offer has a guaranteed salary, but at only 10 hours a week, and just one third of his current salary. Meaning, he makes a small salary for part-time work, but for every hour past 10 in a week, he is paid an additional hourly rate. Due to that, he has the opportunity to make more than he does now, if they ask him for additional time, and he can pursue other side work, via his own LLC, which he cannot do now. We don't need his work for benefits since I have them and he's always wanted to work for himself. He also plans to continue supplementing income with investing and the consulting work for his friend. My arguments, I don't like my job either, but it pays the bills. He has only been with his job six months and the company before that for eight months. So I feel if this doesn't work out, it will raise questions for future employers about job hopping. We have no idea what his income will be with the new role. We just bought a house and want to start a family in the next year or two, so the stakes feel pretty high. Admittedly, we could get by even if he made the minimum, but I'm resenting the fact that if that happens, the weight of the financial stability falls on my shoulders in a job I don't particularly like. However, I know he would do his best to find additional income and even offer to drive Uber Eats if it would help. I want to be enthusiastic, but I have this nagging feeling that it doesn't work out. It will leave him feeling defeated and me feeling embittered. He feels I don't have the confidence in his abilities and is upset I'm not wholeheartedly supporting him. I just think he should be realistic and stick with his current job. Like seriously, how is being bored at home a real complaint? Am I the asshole? Okay, friend, you are not the asshole and I'm about to tell you something really scary because it sounds like you're risk averse and he's more risk tolerant. That's pretty clear. And even the signs and the clues that you said about him, and of course, I don't know your whole story and I, you know, I don't know all of his personality type stuff or yours, but it sounds like he is basically unemployable and that's a good thing if he's an entrepreneur, okay? And take it from me because I'm an entrepreneur, I spent over a decade as a corporate employee and then I was, you know, started my own business. And I can say that I didn't know when I was in the corporate world and rose up the ranks to an executive how entrepreneurial I was, but I remember that the reason I was so successful at work was because I was I thought like an entrepreneur. I didn't know I was thinking like an entrepreneur, but I was always looking to solve problems and I get excited by making other people on my team solve problems too. And it sounds like your husband has that same skill set. For him to say that he can't stay at a job, that he feels like it's toxic or boring or, you know, work that frankly is not worthy of him. That's not what you said, but that's what it feels like to me. It says that he's a natural entrepreneur. The key is, is that asking, does he have the disciplines that he has at work 
his traditional job as he does as this contractor or consultant. And if you've seen that he has the same discipline, then from a money standpoint and from a stability standpoint, I actually would say you shouldn't worry so much. But if he's lazy over there too and complains over there too, then yes, it's problematic. But it doesn't sound like that's what's happening. If you keep trying to pull him back, right, even though you've all made these decisions to buy a house and start a family, the funny thing is, is that people who are successful in entrepreneurship or starting their own companies actually make a ton more money than people in corporate. Generally speaking, I also heard that he's willing to do what it takes, drive Ubers, make sure that he's investing his extra cash into investments, which is true passive income. And you have a job where, although you said, oh, it's not like the most exciting job in the world, you're actually quite comfortable and you're fine. And so when we marry people or we're in partnership with people, you don't have to be the same to thrive. You're just going through an identity crisis because right now, both of you have different goals, but that doesn't mean that the identity that he's creating is a more entrepreneurial, autonomous driven person. Whereas you enjoy, again, stability. There's nothing wrong with either one of those things. Neither of you are the asshole. The key is at this point in this identity shift is that you're getting qualified support to navigate those conversations, right? Just because he wants to do this now doesn't also mean he doesn't want to still have the house with you or he doesn't want to have children. He just wants that his gifts, talents, and skills are being used in a way that he feels is more freedom or autonomy based. And that's totally cool. But again, you have to figure out, is that the kind of life that I want? Because in entrepreneurship, yes, there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. But frankly, that's true in the corporate world. That's true in the government. You can get laid off anytime. That's why they have unemployment benefits. <laughs> okay. So I just want you to hear that you're not the asshole. And if he's important to you, right? And if it's important for you to, for him to also acknowledge what's important to you, I suggest y'all get some therapy. You also get somebody who's really good at navigating entrepreneurial and stable type of relationships. And you can easily Google that. Just make sure that you do your homework before you hire anybody or bring them into your private space. O M G. <laughs> Those were a bit intense, right? What are your thoughts? comment down below. And if you found value in this content, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you're notified when new content is released. I can't wait to share the next story with you. Until next time.